Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you are watching Electric Vehicles. In this video, we will talk about two different ways to charge your electric vehicle battery. One is of course at home using the AC current and the other is when you visit a fast charger and you are using a DC current. What are the rates? How much are you expected to pay when you charge your vehicle at home versus in a charging station is the topic of this video. We will give you the exact rates. If you happen to like this video, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. As we all know that petrol and diesel prices are increasing day by day and people are showing more interest and they are shifting towards EV and government is also helping them by giving subsidies. And with Make in India program also, job opportunities are increasing in EV industry and to grab these opportunity, only degree is not sufficient. You have to be more skillful and for that, Unacademy launched the Unacademy Mechanical Engineering course in which there is 300 plus content in which all topic will be covered and Zen specialization in which you will get FCA, CFD, EV specialization which will improve your skills and with this you will get knowledge of tools like SOLIDWORKS, NXCAD, ANSYS and also your doubts will be cleared weekly. But with this knowledge, when you will go for interview, you may feel some nervousness. And for that, there is 20 plus hour interview prep assistance also. And at last, you will get certificate for every module. And for additional 10% discount, you can use our code ESMART001. So before I give you the exact rates that you pay when you charge it at a station versus what your bill will be at home, I'll first have to explain a process to you, which is uh, the process of loss. All right. For calculation, let us take the battery of Ola S1 which has a capacity of 2.98 kilowatt hour. In an ideal condition, to charge a battery of 2.98 kilowatt hour, you will be drawing 2.98 units of electricity. That never happens though, because there are three kinds of losses that come in. One is the energy loss that happens when the electricity passes through the charging cable. The internal resistance of the cable rises up the heat and therefore there is a loss, heat energy loss. And then again this electricity when it is passing through the, not electricity, uh, electrons to be precise, when the electrons are passing from anode to cathode to charge up your battery, it also uh, comes across the internal resistance of the battery which rises the temperature. Again, there is a loss in terms of heat energy. The second kind of loss happens in the form of magnetic energy, which is as per the principles of electromagnetism. The third kind of loss happens in the DC, AC to DC converter. So our battery does not accept AC current. It is charged only using DC current, but what we get at home is an AC current. So there is a, there is a converter in the vehicle itself, which converts this AC current into DC current. This conversion, results into a loss of energy. So all these three factors, they bring up an efficiency of 90% with 10% being loss. Now there's another factor, which is the BMS. The job of the BMS is not only to monitor the temperature, regulate the temperature of the battery, it is also monitoring the voltage levels of individual cells. Each cell has to be in the same voltage level. That is what the BMS does, which means the BMS will be distributing the energy into all the cells. While distributing, there is also a loss because the BMS is again not 100% efficient. Let us factor in another 10% loss with the BMS being 90%. Now, if we, if we are to calculate an overall efficiency, we will have to multiply the efficiency received from the first case, the second case, and we get an overall efficiency of 0.9 into 0.9, which is 0.81. Now, in our original calculation, we took the battery capacity to be 2.98 kilowatt hour. The new efficiency of our entire system is 0.81 or 81%. If you factor in the 20 or precisely 19% loss, what you get is a current of 3.67 units, which means to charge your battery of 2.98 kilowatt hour capacity, you will be drawing 3.67 units of electricity. This concept was needed. This is the first part of the video where you know that there are losses in the form of heat and uh, BMS's efficiency. Now let us give you exact rates that you will have to pay when you're charging your vehicle at home or at the station. For this calculation, we'll take into account the Tata Nexon EV, which has a battery capacity of 30 kilowatt hour. The DC fast charging rate will of course depend on the company that you have visited. For our calculation, we'll take the Tata power. Now, when you take your vehicle to a Tata charging station, you will be paying depending on the duration, the time duration until which you're using the services. For a charger usage of 15 minutes, you will be paying an amount of 112 rupees. Now, mind you, if you charge your battery from a zero to 80%, because beyond that, your fast charging will be cut off and it's only a slow charge, so it makes no sense. So suppose you're charging your battery from zero to 
you will be paying 300 rupees in a fast charging station. Now, what is the electricity bill that you will pay when you charge your Nexon EV at your home using AC current? For this calculation, of course, we will con consider 0 to 100 percent. In DC, we consider 0 to 80 percent, wherein you pay 300 rupees. Like I said, beyond 80 percent, it is cut off. At home, you will be charging your vehicle from 0 to 100 percent and the rates will, of course, depend on which state you live in. And I'll tell you the rates of some of the states that I have here. If you're living in Andhra Pradesh, you'll be paying only 78 rupees. For people in Assam, it is 148 rupees. Bihar, 193. Delhi 90 rupees. For people of Goa, you will be paying only 68 rupees. Gujarat 105 rupees. Jharkhand 115. Karnataka 181. Madhya Pradesh 152. Maharashtra has too many discounts, so I did not take that into calculation. For Tamil Nadu, it is only 60 rupees. Telangana 130 rupees. Uttar Pradesh 181. And West Bengal 210 rupees. So these are the charges that you are expected to pay when you are charging your Nexon EV from 0 to 100 percent as against a DC, current, a DC charger where you are charging from 0 to 80 percent and paying 300 rupees. Now we already made a video uh, some two three days back telling you why you should always prefer to charge your vehicle at home using slow charging. Do check that video out and for more such information please subscribe to this channel and we'll meet again. Go green, go electric.